Hello everybody, recently we talked about the VIP account and whether subscribing to it was worth it for the perks that you get. After that video, I had a question which was if I had any tips I could recommend to those of you who wanted to qualify for VIP. So today we're going to talk about all the different ways that you can qualify, the degree of difficulty for each, and what the most recommended option is. I am on the CA server today, if you notice, that's because I'm not yet qualified on this server. Once you've qualified, it no longer tells you on the subscription page how to actually qualify. We are on the subscription page. This will tell you how you can qualify for VIP. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll get a message that says you are not eligible for this account. When you hover over it with your cursor, you'll get a pop-up that says to be eligible for the VIP account, you must have bought at least 100 passes or have ranked in the top 50 players in the following rankings. That includes the general ranking, number of trophies, seniority, number of rosettes won in the past month, equestrian center prestige, creations, designers, and collectors. You can also become eligible thanks to certain promotional offers. We'll go through these one by one, starting with you can buy 100 passes with real money. Those passes don't all have to be bought at once. It can just be a pass here or 10 passes here and there. After time, once you've bought it 100 total, then you're qualified. Also, with any and all of these options, you just have to qualify once. Even if you qualify, you pay for VIP for three months, then you stop paying. You don't want VIP for the three months after that or whatever. Once you want to get VIP again, you don't have to requalify. Once you qualify, you're qualified, your life, you're good, you're done, never again. So let's say none of us can or we don't want to buy 100 passes with real money. We're going to look at the freeways at the which are the rankings. The first one is the general ranking. That'll be achievements general ranking. It will be your actual general score here, not all the rankings on this page, just this one right here. This one is going to be quite difficult, I think, depending on the server that you're on, like the larger servers such as the French server and international server. There's a lot of players. It moves very quickly. It's very competitive. Players have very high general ranking scores. This is a difficult one to go after. However, if this is one you think you want to tackle, the factors that contribute towards your general ranking score are, for the most part, the skills of your best 10,000 horses, and your trophies and your seniority contribute a little bit as well. The quickest, easiest way to improve your score is to start buying up a lot of horses that are already highly skilled, or you can also train up horses on your account that have low skills. I'm sure if you have a lot of low skilled trophy horses lying around collecting dust like I do, once you start training them up, you should notice your general ranking score increase quite a bit. What I would recommend doing if this one might be something you want to try, just go to your server's general ranking ranking, and then just look to see what the top 50 players have. That'll give you an idea of what your score needs to be. Looks like on the CA server to get top 50, you would need a score of about 1.2 million. So just check on your server. Obviously, for any of these rankings, check your server's rankings to see which one would be easiest for you. Now, the next one on this page that also counts is right next door. That'll be the trophies ranking. I think this one could potentially be more doable than the general ranking score, but I think it's quite difficult in its own right because it's very expensive and it can be a long-term project to try to amass a lot of trophies. Some of them, they're quicker to get a hold of, such as the coats for all the breeds. That one's very expensive, but if you have the Equus to spend on buying up all those coats, you can get it done very qu fairly quickly. However, for some of them, such as maybe unlocking the Grand Prix Fountain, a uh, number of competitions entered, if you don't already have that trophy or master the manure pile, rosettes from your own competitions, you know, those can take a while. It's not something that's a quick and easy thing Thing to accomplish. So this one might be pretty difficult as well, but maybe more doable than the general ranking. There's one more ranking on this page that will count. That's at the bottom. That, that'll be the seniority ranking. However, for most of us, I would just recommend ignoring this one completely, especially if you're a newer player or even if you're a long-term player who hasn't logged in all that often, your seniority isn't very high. Unless you're very close to the top 50 already, the only way for you to get in the top 50 would be if everybody else above you stopped logging in and then it would still take you a few months to rack up the days needed that you could surpass them or if everybody above you deleted their account and they were removed from the ranking. So I would just recommend ignoring this ranking completely. Now the next one is the ranking that's the most recommended option by players who want to qualify for free. That is the number of rosettes won this past month. So you're going to go to achievements, best breeders on the best breeders page. 
we're going to scroll down here it'll be this ranking right here and if you look real quickly on the ca server you'll see why this one's so recommended um right now on this server and i think a lot of the big reason on the smaller servers there aren't as many competitions that offer rosettes so it's harder for players to win them just because there aren't a lot of rosette competitions out there um right now to rank top 50 on this server you would have needed about four rosettes we'll say five that will guarantee you top 50 just because there's several players that have four rosettes and that means that one player is actually 51st so this one is the most recommended option at the end i'll talk about a more detailed way in which you can actually try to tackle this ranking the next one we're going to look at is equestrian center prestige achievements best equestrian centers you have the overall prestige which is this one right here and I do think that just ranking top 50 among your own specialty, meaning if you're a classical EC, it's possible that just ranking top 50 among classical ECs only will count. I had a player who asked me a few months back whether it was possible to qualify just by ranking among your own EC specialty. They had received a message from Horace saying that they had qualified for VIP, and if the days fell right when they looked at their rankings, the only ranking that they were top 50 in was among their EC specialty. Let's just say they were a classical EC. They were ranked, let's say, 49th among classicals, but when they looked at the overall prestige ranking, they were ranked maybe top 60. So I'm gonna assume you can just rank top 50 among your own specialty. If you do that, you get top 50 in your own and that doesn't count, you don't get the message the next day or whatever that says that you're qualified, then we'll know for sure that doesn't count. But you can, you can try to do that, see if that works. I think this one could potentially be very difficult as well. I know it's taken me a long time to get my EC's prestige up over the 80 mark and I still keep flip-flopping between 79 and 80 if I forget to rotate my meadows or something. Um, this can be very expensive. It can be a very long-term project. If you wanna save some money, you can craft all those three-star boxes. You can craft all the benefits for your borders such as tack, uh, getting mashes, showers, water troughs. You can craft those in your workshops, but that's gonna take longer so this one would be quite difficult I think to go after as well there is one more ranking that counts that is under achievements it'll be the creation ranking and either collectors or creators will count now looking at the creators ranking theoretically this one's really easy in terms of you don't need very many creations to actually get ranked however it's a big deal just to design a creation submit it to the game and then it's a really big deal for it to then get accepted into the game I wouldn't be able to do this one I've never submitted a creation let alone have it get accepted so this one would probably be quite difficult now the collector's ranking is an option this one's going to be very very difficult as well it can be very expensive a lot of these players have been collecting coats for years that's how they have so many coats in their collection if you're already a coat collector though then maybe you should just go ahead and stick with this even if it does take you a while to qualify you'll be able to just do what you enjoy doing which is collecting coats and then after a while hopefully you'll have enough coats in your collection that you'll be qualified for vip I don't think it needs to be both of these rankings. I would assume it could just be either or, maybe just top 50 among golden apple coat creators or top 50 among retired apple coat collectors. I don't, I wouldn't think it'd have to be both. Now, another way that you can qualify is through promotional offers. I can't recall of any specific promotional offer that I've ever seen in my time playing. However, there is a legendary divine horse, Altair, who offers one day of VIP when he triggers his perk. From what I've heard, once he triggers that perk, if you're not yet qualified, that will qualify you for VIP when you activate his perk. I can't say that for certain just because I don't have that divine, but that's that's what I've been told that he will qualify you. Now, Horse has been re-releasing Legendary Tack recently, but we've only seen, I think, two pieces of Tack in about the two months that we saw the first one. It could be quite a while until Altair's Tack gets all out on the game, then you can apply all that Tack to Horse so that it turns into to Altair and also from what I've heard he only activates that perk once in a blue moon even when you get that horse then you might have to wait seven months until he actually activates his perk. One other offer I can recommend that you keep your eye out for is when the Norse cards event comes around which should be Starting, I think, April 26th of 2018, I think that's a Thursday. Events tend to start on a Thursday following the end of the previous event. There is a diamond prize card that offers 10 days of VIP. From what we were told on the test server, once you get that card, that will also qualify you for VIP if you're not yet qualified. I can't say for certain that 
that will work because when I got that card, I mean, I'm already qualified for VIP, so I can't qualify again. If you're already a VIP and you get that card, it will add 10 days onto your subscription. But supposedly that card is supposed to qualify you. Just keep your, not, keep your eye out for getting the diamond cards that you can. If you get a diamond joker card, definitely choose to get the VIP card specifically. Hopefully that will qualify you. Now let's go ahead. We'll go back to that Rosette's ranking because that is the one that's most recommended by players. The way that you want to tackle this, because especially on a server that players already have a hundred, a couple thousand Rosettes by the middle of the month. The way that you want to do this is buy a skiller prep, get your skiller, however you want to do it. If you want to buy one from the sales, if you want to brood one yourself, get it all ready on the last day of the previous month. Next month is May. So you want to get your skiller ready on April 30th. There's 30 days in April, I think. Yeah. So you'd want to get your skiller already in April, get it trained up, get it bolded, have it ready to go. Then once the first of May rolls around, enter that horse in as many rosette competitions as you can. Make sure that it wins. Enter fillers if you have to. If you have any friends who have horses that can see rosette comps, enter their horses if they don't mind filling for you. See if they have horses that won't beat your rosette horse that they can then fill those competitions for you. Your horse will win a bunch of rosettes and then hopefully by the time the update comes around for April 2nd, your horse will have enough rosettes that you'll be able to qualify because this rosette ranking resets on the first of the month. That's why players get their horse ready on the last day of the previous month because once the first rolls around, this is going to be reset to, ze reset to zero. All these players will now have zero rosettes one for the month. And hopefully within the first two or three days, you know, players won't have a lot of rosettes. It just depends on your server. Um, a couple times when I've looked on international on the first of the month, players have anywhere between 10 and maybe 40 rosettes. It just depends on how competitive they are. Not every, not everybody wants to get top 50 just to qualify for VIP. Some of them are already qualified and they just want to win rosettes. That's something that they like doing on the game. So just take a look at it. Just try it. Get a get a skiller ready if you can. I'm not sure about other servers, but on international, a couple crossbreds that I've had win rosettes for me that way, because obviously buying purebreds are going to be a bit more expensive, but it's possible you could breed a crossbred that would win. For show jumping rosettes, I recommend a cell KWPN cross, especially if it's KWPN dominant, because there are breed only rosettes for KWPNs. And with that cell mix in there, they have much higher jumping than a purebred KWPN would. That might be a bit easier for you to win. And also thoroughbreds crossed with Appaloosas, either breed because I'm not sure if they have breed only uh, gallop rosettes for those. So you want a thoroughbred Appaloosa cross entering gallop rosette competitions. So hopefully these tips will help you guys qualify. Like I said, number of rosettes one would probably be the best ranking to go after. Keep an eye out for the diamond prize card that offers 10 days of VIP when the Norse cards event rolls around at the end of April. Hopefully this helped you out and I will talk to you soon. Bye.